Now, the next part of your lawsuit is, see, he keeps good records. The next part of your lawsuit is that you had to suffer a hostile work environment. Did you suffer this hostile work environment when you painted for him before? It was to a very minimal degree. It was kind of um, meant to be constructive. Every once in a while, there'd be a, a low blow statement here and there, but it was something that, you know, with some thick skin, it's okay. But it progressed into something, uh, he's going through some some troubles in his life, and I think kind of created a Dr. Jackal, Mr. Hyde situation, which kind of made it just worse, because seeing him as a, an elder, you know, like a family friend, somebody I consider a friend, so because it tr made that transition, just uh, got intense, got bad. What, you want to give me an example, sir? Basically, daily. Not, I don't want to hear basically. Go ahead. Okay, well, daily I was called, you know, retarded for whatever issue would be. Maybe I, like, missed a certain task in a group of tasks. What else? You'd get aggressive towards me. Give me an example. Fighting stance, yelling, spittle, flying, you know, stuff like that. What else? Just demeaning. You've known him since you're seven years old. This was a man who stood up for you in court. This was a man who gave you jobs. The two of you are homeless drifters who can't seem to find your way. And you had somebody who acted in sort of a parental role to you, who you're now suing because he called you a name when you mixed the wrong colors in the paint that you didn't like. And he became aggress an aggressive stand, never hit you. No. Never did anything. Nothing physical. Physical to you. He was more of a Dutch uncle to you than, because I can't say parent, because you're estranged from your parent. What else? Uh, well, it kind of, uh, Bob was with his, uh, his old friend. Uh, he was a biker buddy of Bob's. Bob's a Christian biker, and the other guy was a Hell's Angel. And when they got together, it was kind of like they were feeding off each other, you know, kind of, uh, for lack of a better term, it became a co contest, you know? And um, it just got worse and worse from there. You they mean kinda... and they, they misbehaved in front of you? Yes, they would, you know, basically... Uh... I don't want to hear basically. Okay, That's they, not what I want to hear. They uh, would say rude things about me together. You know, he would say, oh, when I was 26 years old, this was where I was. I was a Hell's Angel. I was armed to the teeth. Yes. Whereas, look at you, and, you know, Bob uh, referred to me as a peasant on the day that I was forced off the job. Where are you working now? Uh, right now, I am... The name of the place. If I'm not working, say I'm not working. I'm not working, but I'm going to another company. I'm state. not working. And what about you? I'm currently unemployed as well. So the two of you are still not working. Okay. Yes, right. we were going to He owes you $220. We're done here. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you. Thank Bye. Thank you, Your Honor. Excuse me. Step back. Do it the way I ask you. Do it the way I do it, and it'll look like I did it, and I'll pay you. There's other companies I've worked with that don't treat me like that. They see my value. He's 26, going on 16. I got him up to 18.